Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. You may have heard of ADHD, but what about ADD? And what do you know about ADHD? Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is a behavioral syndrome with characteristics of inattention and impulsivity. ADHD is a general label that houses three different types, hyperactive, inattentive, or combined. These separate terms refer to how the symptoms manifest themselves. However, when most people think of ADHD, they only imagine a hyperactive student running around a classroom. But that's only one of the ways in which ADHD may manifest itself. Inattentive ADHD or ADD can be associated with the student who stares at the window or unwittingly ignores the work in front of them. It's a term used to describe a neurological condition with symptoms of inattention, distractibility, and poor working memory. To help you learn more about the less talked about hype, here are five signs of inattentive ADHD. Number one, often daydreaming or is easily distracted. Do you get distracted all the time? ADHD is typically associated with hyperactivity, but it would be stigmatizing and incorrect to assume that people with ADHD do not have moments of inactivity. Instead, inactivity is a predominant characteristic of inattentive ADHD which at times may get misinterpreted as tranquility. This inattentiveness is not something you can control, but is usually a byproduct of lack of focus. This tendency to daydream or be distracted all the time can be problematic when it comes to doing schoolwork. For example, in a classroom setting, a child with ADHD may have trouble committing to an activity for an extended period of time or with not paying attention when spoken to. In adults, this sign can manifest itself in the same way. Number two, is bored quickly. Are you always bored? Boredom itself is not a sign of a neurobehavioral disorder. In many cases, it just means your brain needs more mental stimulation. However, in the context of ADHD, frequent bouts of boredom can point to difficulty sustaining mental effort. Overstimulating environments or activities can produce a sense of boredom because the constant barrage of stimuli can cause your brain to feel overwhelmed. Because of this, it shuts down or becomes bored as a response. Number three, does not pay close attention or is careless. Do you struggle to pay close attention to things? Another symptom of inattentive ADHD is the tendency to overlook details and as a result, make careless mistakes. Perhaps you fail to proofread documents or emails before sending them. This can end up affecting your productivity or quality of work and lead others to believe that you're not serious about your tasks. For children, this symptom may affect them the most during exams, since they may accidentally skip entire sections of a quiz. If you struggle a lot with this symptom, you may wanna try telling yourself to slow down. It might feel uncomfortable because your brain wants to jump to the next thing, but try to challenge yourself to spend a little longer on what you're doing. Number four, forgets routine chores. Are you always scolded for not doing your chores? Oftentimes with inattentive ADHD, your mind can feel like it's running a thousand miles a minute and you end up forgetting certain things along the way. Unfortunately, this forgetfulness may present a struggle in school or work environments since you may forget to complete or hand in assignments or tasks. This can cause others to label your behavior as laziness, but that's not what it really is. If this is something you struggle with frequently, you may wanna reach out to a trusted friend or supervisor to let them know what's really going on. It may also be helpful to speak to a therapist as they may help you create a plan that makes it easier for you to remember chores and tasks. And number five, avoids tasks that require focus. A final sign of inattentive ADHD is the tendency to avoid tasks that require focus. Since many people with ADHD experience difficulty controlling their focus, it should not come as a surprise that many will avoid tasks that require a lot of it. Here, it's important to note that we do not want to generalize and say that this applies to everyone with ADHD. Also, even if it does apply to you, your will and desire to do what you want to do even if it requires a lot of focus, will eventually win out. A way to help with this is to try breaking up large tasks into smaller, more doable ones. To help you go through with the chore, you can try coming up with something that works and suits you. It could be having a friend or family member send you reminder texts to complete tasks. 
If you need more assistance or guidance, you can also reach out to a therapist for help. Do you have a lot of trouble focusing? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.